Expect volatility this weekend. With the GBTC unlocking on the 18th, this weekend is definitely setting up for an interesting one. Bitcoin could possibly close at the lowest point that it has been for the weekly candle since back in January. Now, this is some cause for concern as we continue to stay within this range right here. As you guys can see, let's go ahead and take a look in today's video. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community, with the knowledge and resources to take you up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button. It helps us out a ton with the algorithm. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, guys. So as you guys can see here, we've still been trending down on the weekly. Haven't had any big movements. And so far this week, this is the lowest that we would close since before Christmas was the last time that we closed below thirty two thousand dollars. It's kind of a big deal, you know, because because it's taking us closer to the to the bottom here, which we don't want to go below that. If we get below thirty and twenty eight thousand dollars, guys, it is not looking good. If we pull up our volume shelves here, you will see that the majority, the biggest area right here is thirty five thousand. And that's where we can't get through, right? So if we fall below, there's really not a lot of volume at any of these levels. You'll see that the next level, the next biggest one after where we currently are right now, which is 32,000, if we drop below that, 30,000 is, is really not that big. 24,000 is going to be the next biggest one before then this one down here which is at eighteen thousand dollar level that's why we've said if we fall below this level here then we can expect to possibly go as low as eighteen thousand dollars that would probably be one of the the possible bearish scenario right the possible bottom here in a bear market so in other words we need to get out of this area guys if not it's just not looking good if we zoom into the daily chart you'll see that we've been in this pattern here we've just kind of been trending down right now there's two ways to look at this this could either be a descending channel or this could be a wedge a falling wedge right so the difference between the two a descending channel is bearish right it means that we're probably going to just continue down within this channel until there's another big move to the downside right a falling wedge is a more bullish pattern because a falling wedge usually signifies a possible reversal and means that we could possibly be seeing a breakout back to the upside it's a uh, reversal signal it's a reversal pattern it's a, a bottoming out pattern so we're hoping that you know that it is a falling wedge as you can see you can you can it, it all depends on your perspective how you set up the channels you know the way we have it set up like this it looks like a wedge pattern which would make it a falling wedge but you could make the case for it to be just two parallel lines instead depending where you put the support and resistance levels so that's basically what it comes down to if again we bring out that volume shelf you'll see that basically the last line here is going to be around that 31 to 30 when it comes to volume here then there's a pretty big drop off here all the way down to twenty four thousand dollars as you guys can see here there's really not a lot of activity at these prices so if we cannot hold 30 then we're risking falling down to the, this bottom here which is twenty eight thousand. remember that is a strong support even though there's not it doesn't show a lot of volume there it's still a very good support. As you guys can see, we've bounced multiple times there and it is a very important Fibonacci level. But if we were to fall below that, there's really nothing that's going to catch us until about 24,000. And then the next level would be 20,000 and that $18,000. So bottom line is this is where we draw the line in the sand, right? We need to defend 30K 
with everything we've got here. If not, it's pretty much confirmation of a bearish market and we will be testing levels down to like $18,000. So that's currently where we're at right now. Liddy Capital is a Swiss private equity focusing on litigation finance. They are tokenizing its shares onto the blockchain. The digital shares called Liddy tokens are asset backed by investment in pending careful selected legal cases. These KYC required tokens allow any investor to engage in the high performing litigation finance market previously only available to elite investors. Liddy token holders have shareholder rights and access to dividends. 80% of profit distributed will be paid out in dividends. The tokens launched yesterday, so you can now purchase Liddy tokens at liddycapital.com. So for those of you looking for possible trade entries this weekend, let's go ahead and take a look here and see what we could possibly see. So right now there's no long term short entries available here. You know, if I'm looking to take a long entry, I need it as close to 30K as possible. So probably something where we go under 30K and pop back up above it. I'll be taking a long entry there. Um, if we drop below 30K, that is a short entry that I'll be looking to take. So a break of 30K I'll be taking, I'll be looking to take a short term, a short trade there. And the same thing down here, if we see a break of 28K, um, like I said, I believe we're gonna see a massive drop below if we fall below 28K. So I will be taking a bigger sizing on that short entry as well. If we do go up, then I will have long entries above $35,000. And if we see anything where it kind of fakes out above 35 and drops back down, then I'll be taking a short entry at that point. So those are the trade entries that we will be watching over the weekend, depending what develops with price. Remember, this could all change depending what develops here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button as it helps us a ton with the YouTube algorithm to get this, these videos and this content out there. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend, hopefully a profitable one. I'll see you next week. As always, peace and love.